Hello everyone, and welcome to Inventure. I am the narrator, or storyteller if you will, and I would like to introduce you to a few friends of mine. There is Tom, Francis, Samantha, Dennis and Harrison, and all together they make the Jolly Family. We begin this story with Mum and Dad in the living room. Mum is watching the TV and Dad is reading a newspaper where he finds a coupon, 50% off camping holidays. Hey, look at this, I found a coupon in the newspaper about camping. Do you fancy going away the weekend? Yes, why not? We could do a bit breakaway. Brilliant, I'll book it. Let's see if we can get some spaces. Make sure it's clean and tidy and has good reviews. I will. Mum finishes watching the TV and goes to do some chores. Meanwhile, Dad is still in the living room on his laptop, searching which campsites to go to, where he comes across an offer which he likes. Hey, Mum, I found one. How's this sound? Buy one, get one free. Four star rating with luxury shower room, play area, woods and a swimming pool. And we can also use the coupon from the paper. It'll cost us half the price. Shall we book it? Okay, but it sounds too good to be true though. Oh, go on, it'll be okay. What's the harm can it do? Anyway, I'll put a deposit on it now. Okay then, you best be careful. Something's not quite right with this offer. Oh, uh, don't be such a sport sport. We're going on holiday. Aren't you excited? Yes, of course. However, the offer does not sound. How did you get the offer? It just popped up on the computer saying about the offer. I clicked on the website and left the telephone number and my credit card details. And now the holiday is now booked. Okay then, you best be sure everything's okay. That was a bit careless of Dad, wasn't it? Let's find out what happens when you're not safe on the internet. Remember, if the offer's too good to be true, then it often is. It is now the weekend, Friday to be exact. Mum and Dad are packing the car, ready for their camping trip. Is that everything? I think so. I think we've got everything. What have we packed so far? Hmm, let's see. We have food, clothes, first aid kit, a tent. Yep, that's right. That's everything. That's brilliant. I'll go and get the kids. They'll love the surprise. I know. We'll have to keep it a secret until we go. The kids will be so excited. I just hope that's all good at this campsite. Everyone is in the car, excited about the camping trip. Where the children are none the wiser, what's going on? Hey Dad, what's going on? Why are we all in the car? We got a surprise for you, Dennis. Awesome, what a surprise. We are all going on a camping trip. Wow, brilliant, I love camping. I hope you know where you're going, Dad. Okay then, I'm still a bit concerned though. Yes, don't worry, I have placed all the details into the sat -down. Two hours have passed and the jollies are starting to approach the destination on the sat-nav. You've arrived at your destination. Look, we are here. Funny I don't see any caravans or tents. I don't even see a sign either. What's the name of the campsite, Dad? Northmore Camping. That's what it said on the website. Mum gets her phone and starts to search Northmore's Camping and struggles to find it. I can't find the campsite on the internet. Well, it gave the address on the website when I booked it. Dad takes a small drive and notices a small country lane with a broken sign saying Northmore Camping and starts to follow it. Oh look, I found it. Sign's a bit broken though. How on earth was I supposed to find the campsite? Hmm, I'm starting to worry. Don't worry. I think there is some tents and caravans over there, see? Yes, it looks overgrown and the caravan vans look very old and dirty. Dad parks up the car and notices a small shed which says reception and also notices a lady sat in the shed. I'm just going to see the reception and speak to the lady over there. Okay, I'll wait here with the kids. Hello there. How can I help you? Hello there. We are the Jolly family and we have made a reservation for us to stay for the weekend. Have we come to the right place? Hmm. Mm, let's see. You have come to the right place, okay. But the only thing is we have been closed for two years and we've not seen a customer for a very long time. How did you know about us? Oh, I see. I searched for the campsite online and this campsite popped up and said about the offer. 
Oh, the offer is about three years too old. And the website has been hacked. There is an ongoing investigation. You did not pay any money, did you? Yes, I paid the deposit. I'm afraid you have been scammed. The website has been closed. How did you pay? I used the form and placed my card details in there, thinking it was a great offer. I'm so sorry, I don't know what else to do. You're welcome to stay here, of course, for free. It's your decision. Oh dear. Dad has been a bit of a fool, hasn't he? Mum comes out the car. His dad has been taking too long and was curious to what has been going on. Stay in the car, kids. I'm just going to see what's going on. Dad's taking a bit long. What's up with you? You're not very happy. Hmm, you could say that. What's happened? I'm afraid I have been scammed. This campsite's a phony and has been closed for a very long time. What? Oh no, I knew there was something wrong. You did not listen, did you? I know. The lady said we could stay though, uh, for free. Well, we can stay for one night and deal with the things. Dad finds a pitch and starts to make up the tent. Mum starts to unpack the car. Come on, kids. There's a swing and slide over there. So why don't you go out and play? While Mum and Dad sorts out the tent. Mum is checking the bank account on the phone and is shocked to what she found. Dad, what have you done? Where's all our money gone? What do you mean? All our money in the bank has gone. Everything. Every little bit. Oh no, can't this day get any worse? They took all the money? Dad, you put the card details on that form, didn't you? How careless are you? Oh no, what are we going to do? I'm on the phone to the bank now. Wow, this is getting serious. The forces are taking the money. What are mum and dad going to do? I'm on the phone to the bank. They say they can't do nothing about it, apart from cancelling the card. So we stop that? A car arrives at the campsite and starts to unpack. Oh look! It's Grandma. And what a surprise it is. Hey, what a surprise. Grandma's here. How oh, nice to see you too. Does he know yet? No, not yet. I just want him to learn what he did was wrong. Hey, Dad, look who's here. Hello, Grandma. How are you? What a surprise. And we're all camping together. I've also brought some marshmallows to share. Shall we have them around the campfire? Mum's also told me about your situation and I thought to come and lighten the mood. It's good to see you in a friendly face. How nice of Grandma to arrive. Everyone is around the campfire eating marshmallows. Dad, I have a confession to make. What's that? I cancelled the holiday and took all our money out of the bank account. Why did you do that? Because I knew that pop-up was a scam and I was alerted to it via parent mail a few weeks ago. As Beryl, a school friend, fell for it, like you did, I also wanted to teach you a lesson about safety on the internet. Oh, I'm so relieved. How about this campsite? Did you not look around? It's Grandma's campsite. She's not used it for years. What about the lady at reception? Well, look again at Grandma. She was dressed up as the lady at the reception. This will teach you to be more careful online and not to be fooled and click on everything you see. You see, Beryl fell for it and got caught with it. And I knew you would fall for it too. You're not very good at computers and online security. You also did not clear your browser history so I was able to go find the website and cancel. I also alerted the bank which stopped the transaction. Why did you not say anything before? Because I wanted you to learn to be more careful and realise the dangers of being online. Thank you, Mum. I'm so sorry. And I will learn my lesson and be more careful in the future. Well, lesson learned. Now let's get and enjoy this weekend. This now brings us to an end. Dad should have been more careful and don't believe everything he sees on the internet.
There are nasty people online who will stop at nothing to get at your money. Please take care on the internet, as the internet is a fun place, but could also be a playground for hackers and scammers. If it looks too good to be true, then it normally is.